Yeah, that's why as United for Better Zambia, when you look at our manifesto, mm. we had our first manifesto because our party was registered in May 2018. Yeah. We had the first manifesto, which is almost similar to the current manifesto. We have published another manifesto which will be launching very soon. Look, everything during Kaunda's time, it was decentralization. It was decentralization. Whatever you find in Eastern Province, you find it in Western Province. Agriculture. We had numbered FRA and other th sectors within agriculture. It was easy for Zambiani to grow maize on their own and even have the companies that could produce the Miu Miu, such as Indeco. Mm. Those are the things that could help the nation. Now, in the current situation where we are, after all these issues of privatization, which was done by the MMD, you found that these, all these companies were sold. After they were sold, today we only depend on the private investors. And these private investors, they're not Zambian. Now, how can we compete? Because a government needs to compete with the private sector. For example, the high price of Miu Miu, it's the reason why, because we don't have the national capacity of agriculture, we don't have the milling companies of the nation, which could at least do the competition with the what? With the, the private sector. Kaunda had UBZ. Those buses, if they were not sold in the current uh, time where we are today, we could be a uh, trying to negotiate with the private. I'll give you an example. If from Charleston to town, we are paying about 10 kwacha, or maybe it's 15 kwacha. Now, the government, the state itself as a company, if we have, for example, a bus service company of the state, we reduce maybe by five kwacha. Then, it will trigger, it will make sure that even those guys in private will bring back, because people will be running to the government, because the government can subsidize the, what, the fuel. So that way it can help. It's just the same even in the milling company. You will find that the price will be able to be controlled because the uh, government has its own national meetings. It has its own farming blocks that produces maize and they produce the Miu Miu. So you found that those who are in the private sector, they will now start competing with the government. So it is able now for the, gov for the government to control the price. But the current situation where we are, we are in, I don't think the government can control anyone. And it is even easy. E.g., if the private companies now, they are aligned to an opposition political parties, and they want to remove the political party, and they are the one in charge of the meeting companies. They are the ones in charge of this industry that we see in, the, in our nation. What will happen? It is very easy to bring it down because they are buying Miu Miu, I mean maize, by their own. Government can't, ha can't have a hand to control those people. They can do anything that they want. So that's why Kaunda brought all those things. It's only unfortunate that they were sold. Today, other political parties, they can't talk about industrialization. They can't talk about bringing other sectors in the nation sector. Why the reason is because they were part and parcel of those things that were being sold. Now imagine somebody will come and say, no, we want to bring a transport sector in a country that will be competing with the, the private sector. And it was part of those people that sold, why at that time did he advise the same people to say, but no, don't do this because there's something that you are doing today. We will need them tomorrow. So it is like a focus, knowing where we are going. That's why United for Better Zambia, we've thought that once we form government, we are going to bring back all those things so that they will help the people of Zambia. That's why we can't even create jobs. How can we create jobs? Because jobs are in the hands of the what? The hands of who? the private sector, the private investors. We can't, unless if we have our own. 
then we were able to create this employment and it will be permanent employment that will help people. We have our people today, our senior citizens, who are even enjoying, they are saying this and that. By their time when they were still youth like us today, they were working until they retired. But today somebody from, from childhood grown to a certain uh, age without even knowing how a job is.